Welcome to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. Today... Today was a huge day for President Trump. In an attempt to get everybody to forget about his recent big failures, he unveiled his next big failure. <laughs> Tax reform. Okay, we've been waiting for this one. And in his kickoff speech, he gave a shout-out to his favorite people, the forgotten ones. First... We will cut taxes for the everyday, hard-working Americans, the people that work so long, so hard, and they've been forgotten. But they're not forgotten anymore. I think we proved that on November 8th. True. We proved a lot on November 8th. <laughs> I proved that one man can drink an entire bottle of bourbon and still remember everything. <laughs> now, like, everything. <laughs> Now, for those of you who think <laughs> Trump's new tax plan is full of cuts for the wealthy and big corporations, well, yes. But, <laughs> like any good reality TV star, Trump insists he's here for all the right reasons. I'm doing the right thing, and it's not good for me, believe me. It's not good for me. I mean, it's about taxes. I never pay those. <laughs> Nothing to do with me. Wow. It's not my bag. I don't do he it. don't do it. I don't. don't do the tax thing. But Trump yeah. could really use a win right now because things have not been going his way by any measure. The latest is the Alabama GOP senatorial primary. President fight the establishment. Backed incumbent senator and shaved Hodor Luther Strange. <laughs> mm -hmm. Trump tweeted his support for Strange. He did robocalls. He held a rally for Strange. He went all in. Well, remember how Trump predicted we'd get tired of winning? Well, I think Trump's already there because he lost. <laughs> Badly. A spanking, really. And to make the spanking sting all the more, they lost to Steve Bannon's candidate, former judge and Westworld robot no one wants to have sex with, <laughs> Roy Moore. White House aides say the president is embarrassed and pissed. <laughs> which, coincidentally, is replacing In God We Trust on all U.S. currency. <laughs> and the proof... <laughs> sure, why not? Uh, yeah, 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 like that? Like that? Beautiful. And the proof that he's embarrassed is that Trump has deleted his tweets supporting Luther Strange. <laughs> Apparently... Apparently, <laughs> Donald <laughs> Trump thinks if you delete something from the internet, it is gone. <laughs> okay, it's also what he thinks happens to John Kelly when they play peekaboo. <laughs> Look, Mr. President, don't be ashamed that your candidate turned out to be a loser. Your supporters seem to deal with it pretty well. <laughs> so, unless Democrats <laughs> nominate a statue of a Confederate flag, it looks like Roy Moore is the next senator from Alabama. So, let's get to know Mr. Moore in tonight's The Roy You Know. Roy, there he is, Roy Moore. Roy Moore has waged a decades-long fight against LGBT rights in Alabama, calling homosexuality an act so heinous that it defies one's ability to describe it. But I'd love to hear you try. Well, I heard that two fellas rub their junk together until a gay baby comes out. <laughs> and that's what he heard. That's what he heard. That's what he thinks happens. Even, it's like starting a fire. I see smoke. I see smoke. Get some tinder. Blow on it. Got... This is obviously a stick. This is a stick. <laughs> and even years of Will and Grace reruns have not softened Moore's position, because earlier, just this year, he suggested 9-11 might have been a punishment for the U.S. turning away from God, saying that the Almighty was upset at the U.S. because we legitimize sodomy. And you gotta give him this one, gay people. We do legitimize it. That's why every time anyone engages in sodomy, they get this cool certificate from, of sodomy <laughs> from the Franklin Mint. <laughs> that, is, that, that is suitable for framing, exactly. <laughs> Here's how Roy Moore describes our nation's racial divide. 
Now we got blacks and whites fighting, reds and yellows fighting. Blacks, whites, reds, and yellows. I hope he's talking about Power Rangers. <laughs> uh huh. Or jelly beans. Even if you look past the racist language of calling ethnic groups reds and yellows, and you shouldn't, where does he live where he's constantly seeing Native Americans and Asians fighting each other? <laughs> Because if that's true, I gotta say, the 2017 reboot of West Side Story sounds pretty awesome. <laughs> now. Yes. Yes. Now, I know Moore seems uh, like a troglodyte, but he has the soul of a poet, and in fact, he wrote this poem. America the beautiful, or so you used to be, land of the pilgrim's pride. I'm glad they're not here to see your children wander aimlessly, poisoned by cocaine, <laughs> choosing to indulge their lust when God has said, abstain. <laughs> Quick fact check. No one wanders aimlessly on cocaine. <laughs> they have very specific, unattainable goals, okay? You know, you're my best friend, okay? I love you. Let's start a business. I want to dance, a dancing business. Woo! Oh, but first, let's clean the fireplace with a toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs>